And here we have the fabled Aquabots. Just a bunch of bots in the ocean. Just perfectly positioned for us to have a little target practice. Which is kind of nice because water kills with the Jackal are probably the absolute hardest kills to get. You have to be just right. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can't take him out. Oh god, I'm very nice, very nice. Looks like we got one guy left, and he's probably going to be on land by the time we bank here. And that's going to make for easy cleanup duty. And that was a nice four kills right off the bat. Because all those bots jumped in the water. There we go. I promise we're not in a bot lobby. I've seen some people pop off. Bots do make good cannon fodder, though, and they help raise your kill count. Oh, the boxes lag a little bit there. That's all right. Looks like there might be a guy at the upgrade terminal over here, so we're going to go over and say hello. Oh, yes, there he is. Ah, very nice, very nice. Right, we got some teams fighting right here. We're going to come in and throw a wrench in whatever they're trying to do. We'll knock down there. Now the angle on this approach has to be fairly good because they're probably going to crawl into that doorway and try to res. So if I can put a few rounds right there. Ah, perfect. Alright, so we got that one down. Looks like the other team, one of them's trying to grab, yep, Big Bertha. She's on the move. And we're going to bank a little bit to the left here and try to meet them head on right on the bridge. Oh, well, this gentleman's trying to do just a little bit of bridge blocking there. Huh. Well, that's kind of naughty. Well, then. Let's see. Oh, he's hiding under the bridge now. You know what? Shot a missile at that vehicle, that way it's one shot. Let's see if we can bait him into taking it because the bad zone's moving in. He's probably going to stay under the bridge. Oh, nope, he is taking the vehicle. Oh, I love it when a plane comes together. Yazen. Yazen? I'm not sure how to say that name. Alright, looks like we got this guy now. He's the one that was trying to res his teammate through the doorway. Oh, I need to pick him off quick. Well, I got 56 seconds to revive flight. Oh, we're going for that vehicle. There we go. That was nice. Hmm. Might have a team down here. Let's see who they are. Oh, no, that looks like a bot. Oh, cliffside. I've stressed it many times. Cliffs are dangerous. And that gentleman just found out that they can indeed be treacherous. Let's see. I think his teammate wingsuited down here. Oh. We're going to coast on by. We have to be very careful because that crane right there, it looks stationary, but it will come up to greet you very fast. Oh, he's very weak. Very weak. Hmm. Alright. Is this the other teammate? Tree. Oh, I thought he might keep going, but he did stay behind that tree. That was, that was good. There we go. Well, let's see, who is going to be next? We've got two people down at crash site right now. Sitting at 15 kills, that's not too bad. He's in that container. That's usually a bot spawn point, so he's probably another bot. Hmm, I have a sneaking suspicion that that one cliffside teammate is down there somewhere. And we're going to find him. I think he's playing hide and seek. Hmm. Oh yeah, there he is. Hmm. Alright. Nice. Trailing your shots is... Or I'm sorry, not trailing. Leading your shots is usually pretty nice. Because you're aiming where they're going to be, not where they are. 
a lot of times they're moving and those white boxes do tend to lag a little bit. Ooh. Pulled a few G's on that one, but we managed to pull up before we hit the deck there. That would have one-shot us. Ooh! The real gentleman is somewhere at crash site and he has found himself an FHJ. So we're gonna bait him, see exactly where he is. I think that's him right there underneath crash site. He's not firing on us yet though. Oh, there he goes. So, oh, he's trying. We're gonna use the terrain to our advantage here. There we go. I should have popped those flares sooner, but that's okay. We don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. We are back at 56%, which means we can tank a hit if need be. Oh, a little airstrike going on. I'm going to add to it with my own. Oh, that poor bot. Yeah, oh. Okay. We are officially out of flares. But thankfully, the COD gods put another jackal right here for me. We're going to jump right down. And now we're at 100% with 10 missiles and 3 flares. And I am ready to re-engage the FHJ user. My plan was to bait him out the first time and then tank a hit and kill him, but that one, plan A, didn't work. But, luckily for us, he is in my favorite spot in the entire map when it comes to battling an FHJ user. So plan A didn't work, but there are 25 other letters in the alphabet. So, we're gonna get something done here. He's hiding. He's still underneath. Staying low, but he's not firing off like I thought he would. He is slow playing it, which is quite smart. He's staying right there. That's okay, though. We've got time. The map's not too small yet. And we're going to keep on baiting him to see if he will come out and shoot at us. Come on. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, there we go. He's out and about again. I'm going to use this terrain. Very nice. Now my flares should be building back up. Still got two left. Let's go re-engage. I'm ready to play. Ooh, use that cover. Oh! Oh, that was close. Alright, I think this next face-off might be our last. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully he peeks out and tries to get me. Yes. Astro Gomez. That was quite the uh, drawn-out battle, good sir. That was That was pretty good. I believe Astro Gomez might have been the last live person on this map. But we're going to find out. Yeah, I do think final guy is a bot. But that, ladies and gentlemen, was a very calming game.